Hey guys, this is Amin Keshri. In this session, I'll discuss data access control using object level permissions, also known as compute permissions in Microsoft Fabric. In my previous video, I discussed in a great detail the data access control using workspace roles and item level permissions. If you haven't gone through the details of those two data access control permissions, I would recommend to watch these two videos before dive into this session. The next level of permission in this data security hierarchy can be set within specific compute engines like Lakehouse, Data Warehouse, and Semantic Models. These engines enable object level permissions by sharing individual tables and views with specific users through SQL endpoint or semantic models rather than sharing entire compute engine. SQL endpoint offers direct SQL access to one lake tables allowing for more granular permissions such as table label, row label, column label or dynamic data masking security within data warehouse and the SQL endpoint of the lake house. Similarly, semantic models enable security to be defined using DAX with those restrictions applying to users querying through the semantic model or reports built on top. Suppose you have a user Sachit who needs to run SQL queries against data store in lake house and data warehouse, but he should be able to access only limited tables, not all the tables of the lake house and data warehouse. Similarly, when you are sharing a semantic model item with him, he should not be able to read or use all the tables of the semantic model, probably just one table he should be able to access from the semantic model, where the semantic model might have more than one table. To explore this scenario in the demo, let's switch to Fabric Portal where I have logged in as admin user. Now click on any persona, search for the workspace called Fabric Compute Permissions. So what I have done, I have proactively created this workspace where I have deployed a data warehouse and a lake house and I have also created a notebook to have my sample scripts ready so that I can copy the script from this notebook and run against lake house and data warehouse. So let's open the data warehouse and I'm going to create four tables in this data warehouse. Click on the SQL query and I will duplicate this tab and I will go back to my workspace where I have notebook. I will copy the script from that notebook to the data warehouse so that I can create that table. So here is my workspace. Click on the notebook. So I will copy this script, run against my data warehouse to create four tables. So paste it here. So you can see I'm creating country table, department table, customer table and transaction table and I'm inserting each table around 11, 11 records and then at last I'm just joining the table and running a select query to make sure this tables got populated and they have data and I'm able to fetch the data from them. So you can see I already got the output of the select query which I wrote at the last. Now let's go to schemas, click on DBO click on tables and we can see these four tables got created. Similarly, I'm going to create table in lake house. Let's click on the workspace. Click on the lake house, open the existing notebook, fabric engine security scripts and run the PySpark code, which is going to create three delta tables in different file formats in the lake house. Let's execute this script. The script got executed successfully. Let's click on lake house and refresh the table. And we can see the three tables which got created. Now let's go to the workspace and give connect permission to Sachit user on data warehouse and remove all additional permission and click on grant. Let's also give connect permission to lake house. Make sure you have not selected any additional permission and click on grant. Now let's go to the fabric portal where I have logged in as Sachit user. Click on any persona, go to workspaces and we cannot see the workspace called fabric compute permissions here because I have given him item label permissions, not at workspace label permission. So to access those items, warehouse and lake house, Sachit user has to go one lake data hub 
So he can see the workspace where we have given item label permission to data warehouse and lake house. Now let's see that such user can connect to data warehouse or not. So he can connect to data warehouse and we can see all the four tables which we created, but he does not have permission to see the data of those tables. Now let's go back to one lake data hub and click on the workspace, open the lake house. He can connect to lake house, but he cannot see anything like tables, files from the lake house mode. So let's switch to SQL analytics endpoint. Again, he can connect to lake house. He can see the tables, but he cannot see any data of the table. Now switch to fabric portal where I logged in as admin user and give object label permission to three tables of data warehouse to such a user. So open the data warehouse. Open a new query window, go to notebook and and copy this script. Paste it here. So first thing what we are going to do, we are going to verify that such user has any table level permission to this data warehouse or not. So we can see he does not have any permission. Now let's generate a script to provide table level access to such user. So what I have done, I have proactively written that script also, but in case you want to generate, this is the script which you can follow to generate that. So I'm going to give select permission to such it user on customers and transaction tables. So I'm also going to give select insert update delete alter permission on country table to such it user. So let's verify such it user got the permission on those tables or not. So let's run this script. And we can see that he has all this permission to country table and select permission to customers and transaction tables. Now let's go to the workspace and open the SQL analytics endpoint, open a query window. Let's go back to notebook, copy this script to give object level permission to one table in lake house to such it user. So let's copy this. and paste here. Let's verify does such a user has any table level access or not in the lake house. So he does not have any access. Again, if you want to generate this script, you can use this script to generate it, but I'm directly going to grant him select insert update delete and alter permission to delta date table. This is the table. So let's run this. Let's verify does he got the permission or not. Let's execute this script. So you can see such a user got the permission alter, delete, insert, select and update on this table. One thing to note here the lake house SQL analytics endpoint is a read only. However, you can see that I'm able to grant object label permission insert delete, alter and update to table delta date using SQL analytics endpoint to such a user. This is because both the SQL analytics endpoint and the fabric data warehouse share the same SQL surface area. Therefore, you are able to execute these grant statement and assign permission to the user such it. But he won't be able to perform any DML operations using SQL analytics endpoint in lake house. So let's go back to fabric portal where I logged in as such user and do a hard refresh. As he has DML operation permission to this delta table, we can see it here. He has these all DML operation permission to this delta date table. So he should be able to insert a record to the delta date table. So let's go back to fabric portal where I logged in as such it user and open a new query window and I'll copy my insert statement which I have in my notebook. So I'll go to my notebook and here is insert statement and I'll go back and paste here and I'm running as such it user to insert this data. So I will remove this lake house name and run it again. So we can see that DML statement fails here. It says that this version of SQL Server is basically not supported because the lake house SQL analytics endpoint is read only. Now let's click on one lake data hub. Go to workspace. Open the data warehouse. 
Now we can see the Sachit user has access of tables and he can also see the data from the tables. He can see out of four tables, just three tables because he got permission for three tables only. So if I go back to the portal and click on data warehouse, and you can see it got four tables and we have given permission to only three tables to Sachit user. That's why he is able to see only three tables here. So we have given select, insert, update, delete, alter for the table country to user Sachit. So I'll go back to portal where I logged in as Sachit user, open a new query window. So I'm going to insert a record into country table and let's see that it can run successfully or not. So it has inserted a record successfully to this country table because Sachit user has insert update delete permission, whereas we were not able to insert a record to a lake house table using lake house SQL analytics endpoint. Even the Sachit user has permission because SQL analytics endpoint is read only. Up to this point, we have concluded how to grant and deny object level permissions in data warehouse and lake house. Now let's explore object level permission at the semantic model engine level. Before I do anything, let's verify Sachit user can create report using default semantic model or not. So let's click on one lake data hub and go to the workspace. And here is the default semantic model for data warehouse. Here is the default semantic model for lake house. So I'm going to create a report using default semantic model of data warehouse. I see all the options are grayed out here. Let's switch back to the fabric portal where I logged in as admin user. Click on the workspace. And I'm not going to touch this default semantic models because I'm not able to open data model or modify this default semantic model. Hence, I'm going to create a custom semantic model using data warehouse. We can follow exactly same steps for the lake house, but for now I'm going to use data warehouse. So click on model, click on reporting and click new semantic model and give the name of the semantic model RPT semantic model. Click on schema DBO and expand the tables, select the tables, customers, transactions and country and click on confirm. So this will create a custom semantic model. So I will go back to the workspace and we can see this custom semantic model which we created. Sachit user will not have permission to this newly created item as he does not have workspace label permission. To grant him access of this item, I will click on manage permissions and click on add user and type Sachit user and select it and I will give him only build permission so that he can access this custom semantic model and create a sample Power BI report. To verify this, let's switch back to Fabric Portal where I logged in as Sachit user and do a hard refresh. Click on this workspace and Sachit user can see this custom semantic model and he can also create the report. Let's click on create report. And we can see that the Sachit user has access of all three tables, which are part of this custom semantic model. But the ask is Sachit user should have permission to the custom semantic model to build the report, but he can access only one table of semantic model, not all three tables. To achieve this, let's go to fabric portal where I logged in as admin user, go to workspace, Open the data model of this custom semantic model. Click on role security, create a new role and give the role name as SM role. And we can see all three tables are going to part of this role. Click on save. Go to assign and give permission to such a user. And click on add, click on save again. Let's close this. Now go to workspace settings. Click on premium. Scroll down and copy the workspace connection. Open the tabular editor. Click on open model from DB. 
paste the workspace connection and make sure you have selected the mode read and write click on ok it will ask you to authenticate the user so select the user i'm selecting admin user and give the password and sign in now select to the custom semantic model and click on ok on the right hand side we can see the tom explorer click on roles and select your role which you created down under security expand the table permissions by default all three tables have default permission means sachit user has access of these three tables so i'm going to deny permission for customers table and transaction table for sachit user by making it none and let's save the changes now let's go back to the portal where i logged in as sachit user let's do a hard refresh and now he can see only one table and let's create a very simple visual to make sure he has access of data of that table so i'll click on card visuals and i'll just take count of this country id to make sure to make sure he can get the count of table with this we can also conclude how to grant and deny object level permissions in semantic model engine thank you for watching this video